One thing to consider when choosing a topic for a speech is your audience. What is it that they need or want or already know that could influence your speech? So when you think of your audience, ask yourselves, what do they already know about the potential topics that I could choose for this speech? And in addition to that, what do you think they will need to know once you decide what topic you want to choose? So what is it that they already know and what is it that they're going to need to, need to know in addition to that? So ask yourself this very general question, who are they and what do they want? That's the pretty base description of audience analysis, is trying to determine who your audience is and what they want. If you want to give a more technical definition, let's look at this one right here. Audience analysis is the process of gathering and analyzing information about the audience member's attributes and motivations. And here's the kicker, with the explicit aim of preparing your speech in ways that will be meaningful to them. That's your goal. Don't do audience analysis for the sake of doing audience analysis. The explicit aim of understanding your audience is so that you can create and write your speech in a way that will be most significant to them. So that's something to keep in mind when you're starting to choose your topic and once you've chosen your topic, deciding how to organize your information. Now there's a couple of things to think about. First, you want to consider some of the demographic information if it applies to your speech. So for example, if you're doing sort of a storytelling speech, you may need to know age groups so that you can know what an appropriate story would be in that realm or what kind of information you can provide. Uh, you may also want to know race or socioeconomic status. What is it that they are currently experiencing demographic wise? in terms of race or poverty level or uh, in just general income level, education level and such. Also, if you're doing certain speeches, you may need to know religion or lack thereof or political affiliations or lack thereof. So what is their connection? This is most applicable to topics that are a little bit more controversial. So if you want to choose a topic that is controversial, you would need to know who your audience is in terms of, say, religion and politics in order to be able to effectively address your topic. Another one might be demographic that um, relates to gender. So, for example, if you're doing a story or a persuasive speech that centers around breast cancer, you would potentially need to know what percentage of your audience is female so that you can address them specifically if that's the vast majority of your audience. If it's vastly male, then you need to readjust your speech so that you're not necessarily talking about that individual person, but those that they know in their life. So that's the kind of thing you want to keep in mind if it's necessary for your demographic information when you do an audience analysis. Now, how do you properly use or ask demographic information? The key question here is how do you avoid stereotyping? If you don't really need age or race or religion or socioeconomic status or whatever it might be, then don't ask it. Only ask it if it actually matters to your speech and always, always, always combine that information with what is called situational analysis. And that's what this stuff is here. So situational analysis is things that are very situationally based. So demographics are going to stay that way regardless of whether or not your topic is on uh, breast cancer or on gun control. My demographics will remain the same. I'm going to be female regardless of what your topic is. Situational analysis are features of the audience unique to that speaking situation. So there are certain factors that change based on that particular speaking circumstance. So for example, you may want to consider the size of your audience. Do you have a huge crowd, like at a TED Talk or a major presentation? Or is it a small group of, say, 8 to 10? Or is it a classroom size of 25? What size is your audience? And does the physical setting of where you're giving the speech play any role in how you deliver it? If you're outside versus being inside, those are things to keep in mind when writing your speech and understanding your audience. Even more so is to understand these two things. 
audience's attitudes, values, and beliefs. So what is it that they already know, feel, uh, value in terms of their own personal experiences and lifestyle? And then their feelings towards your topic. Ask yourself, is this topic new to them? Do they need some base information first? How much do they already know about that topic? And if they're pretty familiar with it, what do I need to do past that point of familiarity? So for example, if you're doing a speech on life insurance, you would speak a little bit differently to a group of newlyweds compared to a group of insurance agents because the insurance agents likely already know quite a bit about life insurance. So you want to keep that in mind. And then also, do they have your audience, do they have positive or negative feelings about the topic? Especially if you have a controversial topic, what is the atmosphere for this topic? Do you have a primary group of feelings? Do most people tend to sit on one side of the bench or the other? That's something to keep in mind. A couple of other things that may factor in here is the audience's feelings towards the speaker. So if you have a reputation either at work or in your classroom or wherever it might be, that could factor into how you deliver the speech. Whether or not you're known as the funny person, you may want to use that to your advantage and include some good humor. If you're known as the know-it-all, maybe you need to make sure that you don't bore the folks that are listening to you, but you give them good, solid information. Although you should always do that. And then finally, the occasion might play a factor here. What is the situation that you're in? Is there going to be a negative atmosphere or a positive atmosphere? Are you speaking in a series of speakers? Are you at the beginning, the middle, the end? How might that influence whether or not the audience is listening to you clearly? So that's the crux of audience analysis. Make sure you understand who they are and what they want.